Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cover our shoe. Um, at the end of this, you will not have this shoe at all. You can have none of this open. So to do that, we're going to go over here and we're going to go to the second icon, the one that looks like a lasso. If you click on it and then you come over here, you can see on the screen that the right below the cursor, it looks like a lasso. Before we even start, though, we're going to go down here underneath the layers panel, and there are some buttons down here. So there are effects, and then there is layer, um, layer effects, um, adjustments, folders, and then this one here, the, which is right next to the trash can, is new layer. So you're going to click a new layer, and you're going to go up here, and you're going to name it uh, Soul, or whatever part you are doing of your shoe. So once you've done that, you go over here, and you kind of take, and you just drag along. It doesn't have to be perfect, because... Um, you're just using it as a background. Once you've done that, you can go over here to the colors and you click on the colors and you can choose whatever color it is that you want to make that part of your shoe. So I'm going to make mine orange. So I pick an orange, I hit OK, so now orange is here. And if I go to the one that looks like a square and it goes from dark to light and I right click on top of it, there is a paint bucket tool. So if you click on the paint bucket tool and with this layer selected, we're going to go ahead and click and I now have it filled. I can then hit control D and it goes away. I still have, I still have another part of the sole, so I'm going to stay on my sole. I'm going to click on the lasso, and I'm going to come up with some more areas that has to be my sole. And I will go to my paint bucket, and I will do that. So now there is my sole. You're going to do this for all of your shoe. I would say your shoe needs to have at least five layers. So you have to find five different parts. So I'm going to click on this and I'll call mine handles. And we're going to go to the, the lasso tool. Oops. Control Z is undo. Control Alt Z will undo more than one. Um, actually, Control D does deselects it, so we're going to do it this way this time. All right, and I think I'll do purple. See how this has the um, arrows, so you can easily switch in between two colors, or you can choose another color, and. Then we're going to go to the paint bucket. We're going to have the handle selected and we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we'll do the other handles. And I will use the paint bucket. All right, so if I turn off my shoe, that's what my shoe looks like at the moment. Because at the end of this, you will turn off your shoe. So go ahead and go through your entire shoe. Like I said, you should have probably five different layers. And go ahead and use the 
lasso tool. And let's see, what do I want to do? I would say that I want to do it pink. And so go back to my paint bucket and click. All right, so go ahead and finish this. Once you have finished this, you should be able to turn off the shoe layer or your layer one and you should have your entire shoe on there. And you should have three to five layers and they should all be named.